G'day guys, it's just Stuart from nothingbuttablets.com. Today I'm going to show you the M-Edge Executive Jacket for Kindle and also the M-Edge Illuminator. Firstly, the Executive Jacket comes in seven different colors. I've got the black one. They cost 40 US bucks each and um, they ship worldwide with FedEx. This, um, these two took eight to nine days. Uh, including the five-day public holiday f um, weekend for Easter and Anzac Day. And if you know Australians, they take their public holidays pretty seriously. Anyway, the design quality is what struck me the most about this case. Um, not often you get a case that's manufactured so well. If you can just see the um, stitching there, the it's done flawlessly with the rest of the case. So... If you look at the tab here, this is this tab hold, helps hold in the Kindle. It doesn't look like it's going to go anywhere fast. It's very well designed, very well stitched. Whoever's done it has obviously put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, it's very well made. Uh, the the materials are leather and the microfiber inside. The leather's quite nice. It um, feels good, doesn't feel gross or anything like that. The microfiber on the inside is quite nice. I can imagine it could be a little bit hard to keep clean, which was why I was a little disappointed that this didn't have cleaning instructions on it. But um, that's beside the point. If I just go ahead and put the Kindle in, the Kindle just slides into the bottom two like so, and then you just flip these two elastic bands over the top like that. The elastic bands also have a bit of leather at the top to sort of tie in with everything and make it look all nice. So once it's in, it's not going to go anywhere. It's it's really quite difficult to move up and down. You really have to get rid of these um, straps before you can um, move it anywhere. So I wouldn't be worried about it falling out at any point or any time soon. The buttons also, everything's accessible. Except this slide switch does become a bit harder to use. The um, hold power switch, it does become a little harder to use with this case, but I think that's more the positioning of the button than the case itself. The um, you can still use it, but I think it's just my fat fingers have a bit of trouble actually gripping onto it and such. The side buttons are all accessible, as are the um, keyboard and directional pads. If you've um, noticed this strip down here, that's actually there on purpose. It's there to accommodate the Illuminator light, which I'll show you in a second how to do. But it's quite nice that a company has thought about a light in their case design because it allows you to keep the light there at all times and especially the fact that this e-ink screen does not have a backlight. Um, it's very, very handy. The case itself has this um, strap, you've probably seen it. Um, it just locks it together when it's shut, as like that, so you can't open it. So it doesn't open and scratch everything in there. And then you can also just shut it like that. So it'll stay open and it doesn't flip around being annoying, which is a nice bonus. The light, I'll get onto the light now. The light here comes in two colours. Um, this charcoal, which matches my Kindle, and also white. The light is powered by a single AAA battery, which is just found by removing this little cover here. Um, you'll also notice that on here you've got a swivel point. The swivel point is used just to rearrange how you want the, Kindle, uh, the, the light to be positioned. If I just put that back together. The top of the light also has a um, bendable arm. So you can bend it into any position that you want it. Coupled with this swivel point, you basically get any position under the sun that you want. It's got a single LED light up the top here. It's You turn it on with this touch button. You've got three light settings, each one brighter than the previous. There we are, and you just keep touching it until it goes off. It can be used in ordinary books due to the fact that it's got this wedge design at the bottom. You can just find, for example, this Matthew Riley book, stick it in, 
like that. So you just put it in, go to the page you're reading, and we have a light for our book. Then if you, when you go to your Kindle, just unslide it, and we have a spot for it, as I mentioned before. This bit down the side here, there's an extra seam that runs along here, and up the top here, if you can see it, there's this hole in which this slides in, like so. goes in quite sturdily. Um, it's not actually on the back of the Kindle. It's got its own pouch in here, as you can see. So it's not just an afterthought, it's actually been designed for this light. Anyway, once the light's in there, it's all quite sturdy. You just flip it up to when you need it. I usually have it at, um, at this sort of an angle because if you have it here, when you're reading it, you've got that in the road, which makes it difficult, obviously. However, down here, it's fine. You just flip it on. I find that the um, second brightest setting is enough to see the entire screen and also the keyboard down the bottom. So when you're purchasing books, you're good. The, the brightness isn't an issue, um, much to what the, con the camera is saying. You can see it just looks a little bit washed out, um, but really, in reality, it's not. It's a bit more, that's a bit more of a better viewing for it. It um, does a really good job of it all. I think it's a great little light to have for the Kindle. It um, really does its what it's designed to do, especially coupled with the fact that this case is designed for it. So overall, it fits together quite well. The um, Once you just turn the light off, put it back down. When you actually close the case up, you'll see that nothing is squished, nothing is damaged. There, it's Because it's been designed for it, there's space for it when it's closed. So it will be able to protect both your Kindle and the light. And once it's closed, it feels like one of those um, leather bound diaries that you can buy it's quite nice it's got a bit of a fit like a bit of a bit of weight to it which is quite quite good especially when you when the kindle is quite light it's nice to have a bit of weight on it but it's not it's not as heavy as you think it's just um enough to give it a bit of sturdiness and everything in your bag but overall i must say this case and the light fit together really well and it, I'd be hard pressed to say um, you can buy either one separately because together they really do make a great a great couple. I, I reckon that um, M Edge would be better off to probably give a bit of a discount if you're going to buy both of them at the same time because it is such a nice combination of products um, for a user to buy for their Kindle. Um, my Kindle will probably most likely live in this now because usually most of my devices go naked. However, the fact that this just works so well together and it's just such a nice case, I can just see myself leaving it in here for the rest of its lifetime. Anyway, um, hopefully I've given you a bit of a insight into the M-Edge executive jacket and the Illuminator light. Um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.